The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. We have our first proper trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home and so many questions have already been answered. Along with those answers are so many more questions and a fat ton of possible theories for the future of the MCU. Once again, if you haven't seen Endgame, please turn away now as this trailer gives a lot away. So it begins with Peter in the Iron Spider suit looking upon a graffiti drawing of Iron Man. The scene fades to a conversation he is having with Happy as they look distraught, trying to cope with the fact Tony is gone. Possibly, this could in fact be right after the funeral in Endgame, just like at the start of Homecoming, it began with a clip from Civil War. We see an awesome fight scene as Peter takes down some regular armed robbers with his new suit and a funny interaction with the police where they're pretty much redundant these days. There is a heavy emphasis on whether Peter is to take up the now empty role as Iron Man, obviously still using his high-tech suit. This film looks to be just as fun and childlike as the first was, with Happy seem to have a bigger role than before as he takes responsibility for Peter in the absence of Tony. Nick Fury is also to feature heavily in this as after the snap, his team looks like they are trying to deal with the consequences of both decimations. One of these supposed consequences is the introduction of Mysterio, as he claims to be from another world, as Peter exclaims in disbelief, there is a multiverse. There's a great little scene where Peter's trying to get out of helping Nick, asking about other Avengers, which has been a big plot hole in many previous solo adventures in the MCU. But Fury talks him down, telling him Thor is off world and Captain Marvel is busy. We see three different Spider Man suits the first one, the Iron Spider suit, of which I think will be used at the start of the movie as he's just returned from the end game battle. The original Homecoming tech suit, which I believe he packs for his holiday with his school, and then a stealth version, which I imagine Fury gives him for his missions. MJ apparently knows that Peter is Spider-Man, which is a strange thing to reveal in a trailer despite the many jokes she's made about it previously. Again, more emphasis on whether he will step up and be this new Iron Man type role. Not be Iron Man, but take his place in terms of hero status. My one worry when watching the trailer, don't get me wrong, I think it'll be great, but my one worry is that it looks like quite a big scale film, especially compared to the smaller enclosed style that Homecoming was. He's not just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man anymore, as Fury said. Bitch, please, you've been to space. But I feel like it would have been better to do an Ant-Man and the Wasp and downgrade the threat a little after such a big event that was Endgame. Anyway, guys, what do you think of this new trailer? Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I gotta get you guys out of here. Get on the jet. I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan.